Microsoft really wants you to use a Microsoft online account for your Windows installation. They don't want you using an offline account at all. They want to make sure that they have all of their fingers in everything you're doing. Previously, I made a video showing you how to use an offline account by simply using the username user and the password user, and then that would make Windows be like, error, something weird has occurred, and then it would switch and let you log in with an offline account. I see some comments saying that that no longer works. So I'm gonna give you multiple different ways to use an offline account while you're installing Windows. This works when you get a new PC or when you're just installing a new copy of Windows. And I'm going to do this using the brand new developer build of 24H2. And that's coming out later in the year. And I think one of the methods I've got is going to work no matter what. Before we do that, let's make sure that you have your copy of Windows activated. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code click on buy now, put in coupon code TS25, hit apply, and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home, Windows 11, you can buy it directly, Windows 11 Home, and we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, just view keys and codes, then you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. If you're installing Windows on a new machine and you're using like a USB, you'll have to go through and pick your hard drive and install it that way. We're not going to cover all that. This is what you'll get once you go through that. Or if you have a new computer or a new laptop, you're going to have this. So just pick your country or region and go through all this until we get to our login. Now I've got the internet connected right now. I'd recommend you do not connect the internet, but it might cause problems. So I'm leaving it connected just to show you. This is not your name. This is the name of your device. So name this whatever you want to name it, your laptop, whatever. All right, first off, I'm going to show you the easiest way to use an offline account. And that is to set this up for a work or school. You're doing work at home, right? Maybe you're running a school. I don't know. So you click on that and, you know, you don't have to be in a school or use it for your work or whatever. But it's going to ask you to, like, sign into your Microsoft account. Just click sign in options and click domain join instead. So that's it. Now we're using an offline account. That's that's all there is to it. We've joined our local domain, which is just our uh, whatever computers we have in our house. That's it. So go ahead and put in your name and put in a password and then you'll be installing Windows. Before you let it reboot, make sure that you're not on the internet. If you've got Wi-Fi, that's fine. You don't have to do anything weird. But if you have anything plugged in, like physical network, unplug that. Now for the Wi-Fi, when it starts back up, if it asks you to choose your Wi-Fi network, on the bottom of the screen, just pick, I don't have Wi-Fi. The advanced way is the way that I do it pretty much every time. As soon as Windows starts, press Shift F10. That's all you got to do. Just as soon as the like thing opens up and it's like, oh, Windows is installing, ignore everything. Press Shift F10. If you have a laptop, note that some laptops require you to press Shift Function F10, but most computers are just Shift F10. We're going to get a command prompt. Now just type OOBE backslash bypass NRO. Press Enter and check this out. It reboots and allows us to use the offline options. That's it. I'm sure that option's there for people who are installing and testing and doing developer work or whatever, but it's there. It's inside Windows. I generally like to do that Shift F10 option first because it makes you go through everything, but I wanted to show you the options. All right, right here, see? It's like, connect you to a network. I don't have internet. Beautiful. And if your Wi-Fi stuff was there, don't, don't join it. Don't connect to it. And there we go, check it out, offline account. And don't forget we have a few things for sale over on epicpants.com and that helps to fund the videos as well. So not only do you get something cool, like these mice, uh, I'm gonna switch them over. This'll, this'll be on sale this month. So we'll do half price on the 3360 sensor. This is a flawless sensor. This mouse feels really good. It is a right-handed mouse. Sorry, lefties. Uh, all 12 of you out there, I'm very sorry. But it is a very awesome mouse. And then we'll do half price on this keyboard right here. Right here. I'm not even going to try to sell this because $19.99 is stupid good for this keyboard and there's not too many of these left. So head on over to epicpants.com and I'll see you in the comments.